What's up, math scholars? It's Friday, and it's a sunny day in January. That never happens here in Ohio, so I am super happy. We're getting ready for the next quiz over 4, 5 to 4, 7. So we're doing the study guide today. Who's excited? <laughs> yeah, Friday, Friday, Friday. Yes. Okay, so how are we going to do number one? I need an idea. Who has an idea? Who is feeling scholarly today? Kira? Yep. So she's going to make everything be a base three so her bases can match. So three, she's going to leave alone on the left. But 27, she's going to write as three cubed. And what that can allow us to do is solve for x. Because when your bases match like they do now, you know their exponents have to match. So we know that the x plus 1 has to equal 3 times the x plus 3. Now you do need to put parentheses around the x plus 3 because the 3 will need to distribute in. So we'll have x plus 1 equals 3x plus 9. You can subtract the 1x over to join the 3x. Let me see if I can get space. Good. More space. Um, and that would be a 2x over there. And then we can move the 9 over to join the 1, subtract it over, and get negative 8, and finish by dividing by 2. So did everybody get negative 4? All right, number 2. We're solving for x. We need the e to go away. Anybody have an idea? I need a scholar with an idea. Mia? Uh, Alana? Ding, ding, ding. There's a scholar with an idea. So she's going to take the ln on both sides, and here's why. ln has an understood base of e, and partnered with the e that we currently have, it will cause it to cancel. So we just need to talk about where the ln button is. I'll pull up my calculator in case I've got kids at home that don't know where it is. To type in ln5, it's the button right beside the 4. So 1.61. Alrighty, number three. It's a three-step problem. I need an idea on where to start. Lydia. Yeah, you always know the first step when I call on you. <laughs> Q to the three x power equals sixteen. Who knows what step two would be? Jared. Uh, Close. You can't get the two to disappear by division because two's a base. Any other ideas, Kia? Yeah, if you do a logarithm with a base of 2, that's really the only way to cancel out a base 2. So log base 2 of 16. Let's show the kids at home how to type in log base 2 of 16. So you can do math, alpha, math, and that can pull up your special log button. If you use the regular log button on the home screen, it's base 10. And we don't want base 10, we want base 2. So log base 2 of 16 equals 4. And then I divide both sides by 3 and get 4 thirds. Number 4, what should we do for step 1? Luke. Good job. That is a scholar with an idea right there. So 21 equals 4 to the x plus 1. Now, I need to get that 4 to cancel out. Garrett. How do I get the 4 to cancel out? Log 4. Good. I was making sure you learned that now. Log base 4 is the only way to make that 4 disappear. So go ahead and type in log base 4 of 21. It's going to probably be a yucky decimal. Log base 4 of 21. Did you get 2.196? And then all we have to do is subtract the 1 over, and we have our answer. 1.196. I sent board buddies up, and they did a great job. If these are both log base 6s, we can set the two stuff I'm underlining in pink equal to each other. And then they subtracted the 5x over to join the 13x, and they divided both sides by 8, and the answer is 1. So great work. All right.
All right, my board buddies group set these two equal, brought the 4x over, and that gave them 4x equals negative 2, and divided, oh wait, positive 4x equals negative 2, divided both sides by 4 and got negative 1 half. So that was a great job on that one. All right, so all my board buddies did a great job on this one. You divide both sides by 9. You get ln x equals 6. Now here's where I want to chat with the kids at home. We have a little baby e right here. So if we put ourselves in exponential form, it's e to the 6th equals x. I want to show you where that button is in case you're lost about that. It's second ln. And that pulls up the e with the little box for you to put the 6th in. Super convenient. All right, so it's 403.43. 403.43. Good work. <laughs> All right, my board buddies are just finishing up. They put in the exponential right, form. Right, right. Okay. 3 cubed equals x plus 7. 27 then equals x plus 7. And they subtract the 7 to get the 20. Okay, it's time for stat world in the calculator. I'm going to write the steps up here for everyone at home, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in the calculator. So you do stat edit first, and that's when you put the data in. L1 will be x values, L2 will be y values. Then you do stat calculate to get to the calculate menu, it's the right arrow. And then I have to read the instructions. They want an exponential function. That's choice zero, it's called an exponential regression line. All right? So I've got my calculator pulled up here, I'll show you all the buttons. Stats right here. Then edit, I can just hit number one to do my edit. I have to put a one and a two in for my L1, so those are my X values. But then I need a six and a 36 in for my L2, so those are my Y values. Everybody got your data inputted over. Now we get to do stat calculus. So stat right arrow, exponential is choice zero, so I can just click to zero if I don't feel like scrolling down. Enter, 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 and enter. Now, if I just write a equals 1, b equals 6, I'm not going to get full credit. I need to write it, the actual equation out. So use this equation here that the calculator is providing to you right here. And put that a value of 1 in and the b value of 6 in. So it's y equals 1 times 6 to the x. That's what we want. You don't even really need the 1. It could just be y equals 6 to the x. Any. All right, we're on number 10, same exact deal. We're going to do stat, edit, and put our data in. Stat, edit. I have a 2 and a 3 for my L1s this time. And I have a 16 and a 64 for my L2s. And now I go stat, calculate, zero. So did you guys get a equals one and b equals four? a equals one, b equals four. So here's my formula. One times four to the x. And if you don't want the one there, you can just go with four to the x. I hate you hate Hello, people in the video. We have more stat world to do together. This time, though, if you read the instructions, we're doing a power functions. It's going to not be exponential, but power function. The second part will be a little different. When you go stat edit, you have L1s of 2 and 4. You have L2s of 2 and 16. But now when I go stat calculate, it's a power model. It's the one below exponential model. You can hit alpha A to get it quickly, or alpha math. It's just a quick way to get it. Did you guys get A equals A equals 0.25 and B equals 3? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use this format this time. It's a little bit different of a format for the equation. Um, a goes first, that's 0.25, then X. And then B is the power, so it's x cubed. 
Okay, we're back. We're gonna do another stat world problem. You guys are gonna be so good at stat world problems. We're doing five of them today. Stat. Edit. It looks like my L1s are three and six. And it looks like my L2s are three and 12. Three, six, three, twelve. Stat calculate. It's the power model alpha A. Enter, 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 enter. So much entering. Enter. Did you get A is 0.33 or one third, and B is two? One third and two. One third and two. This is our last stat world problem. Um, you do have to read the instructions in case they have any quirks here. Um, we are using a power model. So it'll be choice A on the list when you go to stat calculate. Stat edit, our L1s are one and two. And then your L2s are 10 and 80. That calculate alpha A. Enter, 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 enter. Did you get A is 10 and B is 3? So my formula looks like this. Y equals 10, X to the third. The cubic. All right, we got Cade up here investing $450 compounding continuously. Do you know who Cade is? I think, I feel like you guys should know. Okay, so the problem my earlier classes were having is they just couldn't figure out what formula to use for continuously. Can you guys figure out what formula to use for continuously? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because this is like literally the only formula to know. <laughs> I think you can learn one formula. I've been spoiling you by giving you the formula. All right, so the total is 3,000. And then we've got 450. Hey, true story, the ACT doesn't give you any formulas, like nothing. You gotta start learning how to memorize formulas someday. Um, 0.08 and x. What should I do first on both sides? Divide by 450. I should have called on Lydia. I know she would have known that. If I would have called on you, you for sure would have known that dividing is the first step. Because you always know that the first step. <laughs> So it's 6.6 .6 repeating. And then we're going to ln both sides to cancel out that E. So ln the 6.6 .6 is 1.897. And then just finish off by dividing by 0.08. 23.7 years. All right, we're going to expand this into multiple logarithms using the properties of a logarithm. Do you remember who's friends with division? Subtraction. So we're going to split this into two separate logs, uh, log 6x squared. But then we're going to do minus uh, log y to the fourth. It's not actually log, it's ln. It's called a natural log. So natural log of y to the fourth. Ooh, there's actually a couple more things we can do. This was a pleasant surprise. If you look really carefully, 6 and x squared, that's a product. And who is friends with multiply? So we're going to split that again. It'll be the natural log of 6 plus the natural log of x squared. And then I still have the minus natural log of y to the fourth. The only other thing I'm thinking we can do is frog our exponents. So who are the frogs? Ribbit, ribbit. The 2 is a frog. He can jump out front of his log. And the 4 is a frog. And he can jump out front of his log. So I'll do my little arrows. My 2 goes to here. My 4 goes to here. And that's as much as we can do. Okay, for number 16, we need to do... Uh, number 15 in reverse. So we're taking multiple logarithms and condensing them down. So start with your frogs. Do you see any frogs? The 2. The 2 is your frog. So the 2 is going to become the exponent 
of the one half. So you have to do one half squared. Can you do one half squared in your head? One four. Good job. I thought maybe I would have a scholar that could do that. And now we're going to combine things. Since these are all addition, they're all just going to multiply with each other. So you can do 40 times 1 4 times x. What's 40 times 1 4 times x? 10x. Okay. And that's it. All right, last one. How can we use the change of base formula to evaluate log base 5 of 60? So that basically means, let's say I have an old school calculator that doesn't have the fancy log button. Maybe that old red calculator that I used to use in seventh grade. There's a way. Do you remember from the lesson that day? You would do... What? I think you know. Uh-huh. So you would do log 60 divided by log 5. These are base 10 logs. Because most calculators have a log base 10 button, but not necessarily the special log button. So log 60 divided by log 5. 2.54. Thanks to everybody at home for watching our video today.